हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू शिक्षा थ्री सिस्टम टुडे बेसिकली वी आर गोइंग टू कवर द चैप्टर नंबर थ्री पार्ट वन ऑफ कैब इलेक्टिव आईटी कोर्स सो लेट स्टार्ट रेगुलर सेशन बेसिकली विल बी कंडक्टेड फॉर दिस इलेक्टिव ऑन अवर चैनल यू कैन आल्सो ज्वाइन फॉर दैट सो नाउ लेट स्टार्ट चैप्टर थ्री इंट्रोडक्शन टू सॉफ्टवेयर पार्ट वन सो नाउ अंडर दिस सेशन बेसिकली वॉट वी हैव कवर लाइक यू हैव ऑलरेडी कवर्ड इन यूर स्कूल टाइम लाइक what are the different generations of the computers basically we will cover in this session so let now let's move forward so first of all we will discuss here basically what is computer software <clears throat> so computer software it is a general term that is used to describe a collection of computer programs clear so what is computer software computer software basically it is a general term basically used to describe a collection of computer programs procedures and documentations that perform some task on a computer system okay so basically it is a general term that is used to describe a collection of computer programs procedures and documentation that performs basically some task on a computer system <clears throat> so what this includes computer software what it will include so that term includes application software what are the meaning of application software kindly remember these points directly they will ask in the examination clear so what is application software such as word processor that is basically specific regarding to the application clear that is word processor which perform productive tasks for the user that is basically application that is for general purposes basically we are using that applications <clears throat> that is to be known as the application software like word processor Se second one that is system software all these are comes under the basically computer software <clears throat> what are system software such as operating systems clear basically through which we can operate our system like windows so which interface basically with the hardware to provide the necessary surface basically for application software and middleware which controls and coordinated coordinates distributed system clear <clears throat> clear basically which interface with hardware to provide the necessary surfaces basically for the application software and middleware which controls and coordinates distributed systems further <clears throat> software or program enables a computer clear software or program basically enables a computer to perform specific tasks clear software or program basically enables a computer to perform specific tasks tasks as opposed to the physical components of the system okay so software or program basically enables a computer to perform the specific task basically as opposed to the physical components of the system this includes basically application software such as a word processor which enable the user clear includes application software basically such as a word processor which enables a user to perform a task clear basically which enable the user to perform a task and a system software such as an operating system which enables the other software <coughs> to run properly by interfacing with hardware clear so kindly remember that basically application software basically specifically used for to performing a task and system software basically what that is basically enables a software to run properly basically by interfacing with the hardware and with the, some software or custom software made to user specifications clear rest as per specification just here you have to remember that what is the application software what is a system software okay just remember these two things here this is s now next one so relationship to the computer hardware clear basically we are continuously saying that basically enabling what is the meaning of that so computer software it is so called in contrast to computer hardware <clears throat> okay so computer software basically it is so called in contrast to computer hardware which encompasses the physical interconnections and devices required to store and execute the software clear so computer software basically it is so called in contrast to the computer hardware which encompasses the physical interconnections and devices required to store and execute the software in computers software basically what is what, how it is loaded soft in computers basically software it is loaded into the ram and executed in the central processing unit that is cpu very simple things at the lowest level software consists of the machine language specific to an individual processor like in the case of like basically machine language that is binary 
Okay, so machine language basically consists of group of binary values, binary values that is 0 and 1. Signifying processor instructions, which change the state of the computer basically from its proceeding state. Clear here, basically in the examination, you will not get any question like what is the value of that binary conversion. Clear these things basically you will not get as that will not cover in the syllabus, but you have to understand clear what is machine language binary values basically will be used in that. Okay, all these things that is relationship to the computer hardware. Next one that is software. What is that? It is an ordered sequence of instructions. Clear what is software? Basically, it is an <clears throat> ordered sequence of instructions for changing the state of the computer hardware in a particular sequence. Clear. So what is software? Basically, it is an ordered sequence of the instructions for changing the state of the computer hardware in a particular sequence. And computer software, basically, it is generally written in the high level language that are easier and more efficient for humans to use than the machine language. Okay. <clears throat> so basically software, basically it is written in the HLL, high level languages that are easier and more efficient for humans to use than the machine language. High level language basically are compiled or interpreted into the machine language object code. Clear. So high level languages basically are compiled or interpreted into the machine language object code. Clear. Because our basic uh, data it is basically in the machine language clear first of all high level language to basic language sorry machine level language it is to be converted and further software may also be written in an assembly language essentially a mnemonic representation of a machine language using a natural language alphabet clear so you can represent your data in the end basically either in the machine language or in the assembly language Assembly language basically must be assembled into object code via assembler. Object code basically that is basically into the binary code. Clear basically with the help of the assembler. Clear assembler basically we can say that like it is an instrument or we can say that it is basically through which we can convert our data. Okay. Next one. So what are the types of the software? Clear. Yeah. So basically types of the software practically computer system. Divides software system basically into three major classes. Clear computer system basically divides the software system into three major classes. First one, system software, programming software, and application software. Clear. So software system basically divided into three parts. Types of software, system software, programming software, and the application software to be here. So what is system software? So system software here it is to be. System software basically helps run the computer hardware and computer system clear what system software basically helps run the computer hardware and computer system it includes operating systems clear what is to be included under the system of software it includes operating systems device drivers diagnostic tools servers clear so what it includes basically it includes operating systems device drivers diagnostic tools servers graphical user interface gui utilities and more their graphical user interface utilities and more what is the purpose the purpose of system software is to insulate the application software as much as possible basically from the nitty gritty of the underlying hardware system clear that is protect from that clear so the purpose of the system software that is and further that is basically it help us to perform their functions properly clear system software help us the application software to perform their functions properly clear the purpose of system software basically is to insulate the application software programs, application programs as much as possible, basically from the nitty gritty of underlying hardware system. Further, computers are run by operating systems, which are computer programs, organizing and utilizing the computer processing functions. Clear. So computers basically are run by the operating systems, which are computer programs, organizing and utilizing the computer processing functions. An operating system lines up the job and assign them to their proper places. Clear an operating system which lines up the job and assign them to their proper places. It further that is it tells the CPU to perform various functions and checks the data moving through various devices of the computer. Clear. <clears throat> further basically that is it tells the CPU basically to perform the various functions and checks the data moving through various devices of the computer. All these things basically it is to be taken care by the system software. Further, that is basically different types of the system software we have to discuss here. 
like this one basically from the mocos for the computer system like ms dos unix like for apple it is macintosh okay all these are comes under like linux all these are comes under the system software clear so what are the basically systems of like we can say that operating systems clear like mobile phone operating system what are these i think all of you are very well aware there are also mobile phone operating systems that have gained tremendous importance recently in the mobile world mostly it is the operating system that rules the mobile phone market clear basically on the operating system basically on the basis of the operating system the performance of the any device basically will check out clear if the operating system is updated or all the functions so we can say that it is little bit more costlier than the unupdated version okay so some of the most popular operating systems are to be android android ios ios basically specifically for the iphone and windows each mobile operating system has a numerous versions android os operating system that is android operating system has the largest share of mobile market followed far behind by the ios as of a date clear so each mobile operating system basically has a numerous versions android operating system basically has the largest share of mobile market basically followed far behind by the ios as of the date now move to the next point to be here microsoft windows operating system so first of, first of all they will have introduced that so microsoft windows it is a family of proprietary operating systems designed by the microsoft corporation and primarily targeted to the intel architecture based computers clear so microsoft windows basically it is a family of proprietary operating systems designed by microsoft corporation and primarily target to the intel architecture based computers with an estimated 89% total user share on web connected computers clear mostly like we can say that out of the 189 computers basically have microsoft windows in 2011 windows 7 overtook windows xp are there basically it is windows xp now windows 7 as the most common version in use clear so with the respect to time to time there are latest versions of the windows are to be launched and you will find most of the computers having the microsoft windows and the latest clear so the latest version for the desktop basically it is windows 11 whereas for servers basically windows okay so basically in the year 2022 the latest version basically you will find in mostly that is windows 11 first time basically when it was released so microsoft windows was first released in the 1985 this one it will be one of the question they will ask as an operating environment running on top of the ms dos microsoft desktop operating system which was the standard operating system shipped on most intel architecture personal computers at the time in 1995 basically which window was basically was launched windows 95 clear with respect to the year was released which used ms dos as a bootstrap clear so what are these things like what is bootstrap i will cover in the upcoming sessions clear so later to 2000 all versions basically have been based on the windows anti kernel clear these are the technologies clear and after that basically 2000 all the windows basically have been based on the windows anti kernel and 1995 windows basically was used ms dos as a bootstrap clear kindly remember these two things they will use what is windows anti kernel basically that is new technology clear anti basically stands for the new technology windows anti is a an operating system that supports pre Empty multitasking clear that supports basically preemptive multitasking just basically in simple language you can understand as the versions are to be updated basically they will provide you more things clear in a single software further that is basically there are two actually two versions of windows new technology of windows nt first one that is windows nt server designed to act as a server in the networks clear so windows anti server basically designed to act as a server in the networks and windows anti workstation anti workstation for stand alone or client workstations clear and window anti workstation 
basically for what basically for the standalone or the client work stations clear these are the two versions of the windows nt first one that is windows nt server basically that is designed to act as a server in the networks second one that is windows nt workstation basically for the standalone or the client work stations so i request to all of you kindly go through this slide that is basically simply they are under that basically we are discussing that is what are the different types of the language and how the process it is to be going on like basically as per the latest statics in very high end systems like supercomputers these you are also able to heard these words the share of windows operating system it is reduced to almost nil whereas the unix and unix like operating system are mostly in the 99% of the systems okay so unix basically it was originally written in the assembly language very very important this question they have already asked. That's why I will discuss it. That is. Unix basically it was originally written in the assembly language. Rest you can go through that. Not very much typical, just theory part. So now next one I will cover here. That is programming software. Clear because there are the three types of the software: system software, programming software, application software. System software we have already covered. After that we will now move to the planning software. Programming software, sorry. What are programming software? Basically, programming software basically usually provide tools to assist a programmer. Clear basically for what? Basically, to assist a programmer in writing computer programs and software using different programming language in a more convenient way. Clear using different programming languages basically in a more convenient way. So, what are the tools? The tools basically include here text editors, compilers, interpreters, linkers debuggers and so on clear so what are the tools that is text editors compilers interpreters linkers debuggers and so on so an integrated development environment ide an integrated development environment merges these tools those tools into a software bundle and a programmer may not need to type multiple commands basically for compiling clear interpreter debugging tracing etc because the ide that is integrated development environment usually has an advanced graphical user interface okay so these types of the full form like i am discussing here all this thing you will take your copy in your hand and you will write like on the back side of your notebook basically where you are writing important points just try these full forms clear definitely you will get six to seven full forms in the examination like i e e so very ma many of the time basically we are not able to remember what are these things clear so integrated development environment clear and in the option basically if you will get environment even you are not able to strike like in the computer there is not related to any environment so this will not be the answer clear that's why i'm saying that please remember these points ide that is integrated development environment and basically these are the updated software and all you and all the things you will do in a single step so basically there are many general purposes language and some of them are very rarely used clear so now in the next step basically we have to use what are the different types of the generation computer like first generation computer programming second generation programming languages third generation and under the third generation basically we have to also discuss c c plus plus ruby java python cobol fourth generation and fifth generation clear all these things we have to be covered in the next session along with the application software clear so basically in this session i will discuss just the basic or the introduction and in the next session we will discuss very important points along with some other important questions which they have already asked in the examination so thanks to all of you for joining this basic discussion